Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to our church Bible devotional online. I want, just before we jump into our devotional, I want to just invite you, if you're physically capable of joining us on Sunday, I want to invite you. We're having a wonderful, wonderful time in the Lord. We're continuing in the series that we're on in the book of Acts, and it is extremely exciting to see how the Holy Spirit works in and through and out of people to accomplish His purposes. And so I want to invite you to come and join us. And again, that's this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. at First Assembly. Well, this evening, I just want to share on, on, on this subject matter, that God will never, ever, ever ask you to do something without providing you with everything you need to do it. Anointing and the baptism in the Holy Spirit really, I believe, is a sign of God equipping and empowering us, me and you, to fulfill an assignment that He has given to us. Um, the scripture says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse number 24, it says this here, The one who calls you is faithful. I love that word. He is faithful. He never fails. He is faithful. The scripture says, and he will do it. <coughs> so the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Let me ask you a question today. Listen, do you want God's resurrection power to work in you and through you and out of your life? Then listen, then, then if that's the case, you need to understand what it means to have really the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your life. And to understand how God's anointing works, you need to keep a few things in mind. And I want to cover just several of them this evening, that I hope that you'll embrace them and then live them out and experience the Holy Spirit working in your life and through you and out of you in a way like you've never experienced before. So the first thing is, is when God says, do it, then you can count on this. You can count on His anointing, His empowering. In Acts chapter 1, verse number 8, it's uh, some of the last words that Jesus gives to his disciples when he, uh, he shares with them. He gives them a, really an impossible assignment when he says that he wants them to be witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea, the out, outlying area, and then Samaria, and then to the uttermost parts of the world. And, uh, and there was no way that they could possibly take the gospel to the ends of the earth. It could only happen through the power of the Holy Spirit. And God will often give you and me an assignment that can look physically impossible. But because He is with you, He will make it possible. The scripture says this here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. says, the one who calls you is faithful. He is faithful. And he will do it. The second thing is, God's empowering, his anointing, it makes difficult tasks much easier. Uh, your resources, your energy, your knowledge, your, your giftings, your talents, your wisdom, your abilities, really, in and of yourselves, they're all limited. But God is not limited by any of those things there. And with God's anointing, you can handle things a whole lot better They'll last longer, and you'll go farther, because He is with you. The scripture in Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 16, says this here. It says, uh, Paul speaking, I pray that from His glorious, unlimited resources, God's will empower you with an inner strength through His Spirit. The third thing that I'm going to look at is God's anointing, listen to this, God's anointing makes the impossible possible. His empowerment, Him working in your life and through your life, uh, will make the impossible possible. Uh, it may be your job, it might be a marriage, it might be a health situation, um, relationships that you come up against that just seem to be insurmountable. How am I going to ever make it over this hurdle that is here. Well, listen, God is competent. He's a competent father. No problem, no problem, listen, 
No problem is beyond his ability. You'll remember the passage of Scripture found in Luke chapter 18, verse number 27. It says this here, What is impossible with man is possible. I'm going to add this word. Is absolutely possible with God. Isn't that true? With God, all things are possible. <coughs> Excuse me. And then number four, God anoints your life and he empowers you to bless others. Jesus, he came to comfort the poor and the oppressed. He came to comfort the afflicted. He came to encourage those that were downhearted, to heal the blind, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to embrace the broken hearted, those that were enslaved to bad habits. He came to set them free, to minister to them. And he anoints you, and he anoints me, in the same way to comfort others. He works in our lives and through our lives, and as I've said before, and then out of our lives to embrace those that are in need. The scripture says in Acts chapter 10, verse number 38, it says, Jesus arrived from Nazareth, anointed by God with the Holy Spirit, ready for action. He went through the country, helping people and healing everyone who was beaten down by the devil. He was able to do all of this because God was with him. And then the fifth thing that I want us to look at tonight and to remember is that for every new challenge, for every new challenge, you need a renewed strength. You need a renewed power uh, from God. Anointing by the Holy Spirit is not something that you can store up. It's, I often look at it like you've seen these helium balloons. Well, one of them might get away from you. It's happened to us in the sanctuary at church if we're having a special event and we have balloons and a, uh, one of those helium balloons breaks loose and goes to the ceiling and it's like it's up there. Um, but it's not going to stay up there forever because it lo the helium loses its strength and suddenly that balloon starts to find its way back down. And really, it's like that for you and I. We can't rest on the anointing of the Holy Spirit from yesterday. We need a fresh touch from God every single day. Every day, we need a fresh touch from the Holy Spirit in order to accomplish His purposes in our lives. There's a passage of Scripture that, uh, that I'd like to, to read, but, uh, but I think it's really important for us to remember this, though, that we can't operate on last week, on our great prayer meeting that we were at the week before, or a month ago, um, listen, that's great to draw testimony and faith from, but we need a fresh touch from the Lord today. Uh, the scripture says this here in James chapter 4, verse number 2. And let's remember that the Holy Spirit can constantly fill you and me with His grace, His love, and His power. And so James says, you don't have because you do not ask God. You have not because you ask not. And I hope that that will never be an indictment on us, on you or on me, that we didn't have because we didn't ask. He's a generous God. He's a gracious God who is all ears. And he's waiting to embrace you and me. And he's waiting, desiring to fill us anew and afresh with that fresh wind and a fresh fire that we can accomplish his purposes, and live victoriously each and every day of our lives. And so I want to challenge you today to ask for God's anointing on your heart. Ask for God's anointing in your life. Even when you lay your head on your pillow tonight, you know, pause for a moment and just say, Lord, I want a fresh touch from you. Minister to me. Anoint me anew and afresh. Again, this night as I go to sleep and give me a day tomorrow that is filled with your presence and you at work in my life. We thank you again, Lord, for all that you do for us. We're so thankful for your grace and for your mercy. Thank you for using our lives. And we do ask you 
Heavenly Father, for a fresh touch from your Spirit. May a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit blow through our lives, empowering us for the task that you call us to. Lord, I pray for our dear friends tonight. May your blessing rest on each and every one of them. And we'll thank you for it, Lord. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone said, Amen and Amen. God bless you, everyone.